today I'm going to share with you some of my favorite stretches to help relieve that pain in your SI joint. Hi, my name is Mariah. Welcome to Wealthy Boss. I bring you bar, yoga, and Pilates on the regular. So if you'd like more of those workouts, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. This is my second installment of Yoga for SI Joint Dysfunction. When it comes to SI joint dysfunction, there's really a couple of different culprits that can be the case. We can either be hypermobile in the SI joint or we can be not um, mobile enough. So today we're just gonna kind of play it safe with some bilateral stretches, meaning that we won't be putting any um, particular pressure on one joint over the other. And it's just gonna feel really good. We're gonna traction and relax the back muscles so that we can get to feeling better. You're gonna need either two yoga blocks or just two um, couch pillows or kind of flatter pillows one lumbar bolster or you can also just roll up a towel especially a smaller um, hand towel works very well all right let's begin in our child's pose position and we're just going to snake through from child's pose to upward facing dog so we are going to keep the hips a little bit more narrow the knees about hip width distance apart just stretching hips towards heels and then come right away dropping the hips, rolling the shoulders back into our upward facing dog. So we're going to cycle back and forth between these two movements. And then let's rock it up into a tabletop position. Dropping into our cat cow, so we drop the belly button, arching in the spine, and then exhale, pulling the belly button in and up. So the movements we do today are very, very simple. They're not complex, but they are very mindful when it comes to having pain or stiffness in that SI joint. Deep into your inhales and your exhales. You may find you have a little bit less mobility on the days you're feeling extra SI joint pain. Maybe some days you can go a little bit deeper. And let's take the forearms now onto the ground, lifting the hips up high into our dolphin pose. Maybe pedaling the feet out. The spine is nice and long. Being careful not to collapse in towards the ground, really press the ground away. Taking some nice deep breaths. You can still touch your shoulder toning here, but mostly we are tractioning the spine by propping the hips up. Really breathing through it. Great alternative to down dog. Also gives you a little bonus shoulder stretch. Perfect. Dropping the knees onto the ground. Push it forward on my mat just a touch. And then kind of drop my belly down onto the ground. The forearms again come onto the ground. And we want to have the hands and elbows about shoulder width distance apart. Again, be careful not to collapse. Here we really want to draw the front of the shoulder heads over each other and from here I'm actually kind of tilting my hips slightly more into the floor as I energetically draw my elbows in towards the ribs. So that nice back bend. So oftentimes SI joint dysfunction or back pain even in general can really be exacerbated by too much holding forward that can place a lot of stress on the SI joint on the spinal columns as well. Go ahead and set that down. 
press back again into your child's pose just to counter stretch. Maybe those hips even drop a little bit deeper than they had been. Perfect. Let's come back to tabletop and then let's go ahead and walk all the way up. We're going to grab our pillows or the is what they're called. It's going to be forever to learn. So we're going to grab our pillows or our blocks, whatever you have available. And we're going to lie down on our back, but the knees are going to be falling out to the side, the soles of the feet together. So if you have blocks, you can decide how high to place the position of the blocks. If you're super tight, you might even, and have long legs, you might even want to go on the highest height. Today, I'm gonna to go on the lowest height, but you don't wanna feel any sense of gripping in the piriformis. So we're allowing the back muscles to completely relax. Slowing down the mind with your breath, slowing down the body with your breath. And you may notice it takes a moment or two before the muscles begin to let go. So seeing if you can consciously release any gripping around the SI joints and tailbone. Just imagining that whole area becoming more spacious and free. Imagining feeling light as it pours into the spaces. And that healing light is the power of rest and relaxation. And that, that actually heals the body at some level. Gripping, releasing, if you feel yourself kind of drawing everything up in that root chakra area, seeing if you can just simply let it go. taking your hands to the, help the knees come together to avoid any more strain. And then placing the block or again, if you have a pillow, you can place that underneath you as well. Lift it under. I'm going to go on the highest height today, but if you're brand new to this, I recommend the lower setting or the medium setting. We don't want to have too much of a strain. So we want to feel the difference between kind of a good stretch and kind of too much intensity where the muscles are then gripping to protect. So again, you might be lower if you're on your pillow. A firm pillow you, works pretty well um, to get you at this height, but if you have a real soft pillow, then you might actually be able to intensify the experience by drawing the legs long. So again, if you've got a softer, kind of flatter pillow, you could try extending the legs long, see how that feels. If it doesn't feel good, you can bring them back here. But that's a way to deepen into the pose if you don't have one of the firmer, higher blocks like this. Starting to pay attention to that breath, feeling it as it infuses your body. Letting everything be still, everything be calm. And then gently pressing the hips up, we're going to roll that block away, grabbing hold of your lumbar bolster, or most likely you might be using a rolled up towel. So we're going to roll it up, and then this time, instead of placing it under the tailbone, I'm going to place it under the arch of the spine so my hips are off of the towel and then I let my hips drop to the ground. So I'm in that kind of this exaggerated arch and then if it feels okay, I'm going to extend the legs long. Your arms can be out to the side, even overhead if that feels nice. So kind of play with the position of the arms. It feels like a deep surrender. Again, feeling all of those muscles in the low back begin to release their grip. 
releasing on the tailbone, releasing in the pubic area, releasing in the glutes, releasing in the groin. All day long we sit up erect, we hold ourselves at ready attention, always alert, hyper-focused, ready for danger. Just know here you're in a safe spot to let go, to relax and to receive. You do not have to be on guard. Final few breaths here. And one foot at a time, go ahead and bend the knees, bringing the heels in towards the seat. You're going to pick the hips up, rolling through, set that towel or bolster to the side. And then we just want to neutralize that by hugging the knees in towards the chest, lengthening the tailbone away. So notice if you begin to kind of peel the hips off the ground, send them back down while simultaneously pulling the knees in. This is going to create, again, more traction, more space between the vertebrae, just like we did in that dolphin pose which allows the discs to become more cushioned, to be filled with nutritive fluids. And it feels really good. Continue to lengthen the tailbone away, hug knees in. And then gently fall over to one side. And go ahead and come up to a seated position. I hope this was helpful for you. Just a few minutes a day can certainly help you feel better. Of course, the more that you do it, the better you're going to feel. Now, stretching is not the only important thing when it comes to managing our SI joint pain or our low back stiffness and generalized pain. We also have to make sure we are strengthening, that we are releasing through um, myofascial release. And there are some other factors besides the biomechanical factors. There are things like hormonal issues that we have to consider as well. If you are serious about really taking care of your back pain, I would love for you to join me in my Back Bliss program. Here we give you 12 workouts spread out over a month's time, as well as as well as an amazing exercise library once you get a better feel for what types of movements or stretches are best for you. We also dive deep into some of the root causes of low back pain, and I bring in some special experts, including a physical therapist, as well as a psychologist, to talk about the stress back pain connection. I would love for you to try Backlist free for seven days. You can check that out through my link in the description below. I hope your back is feeling better. Let me know how this class went for you and I'll see you next time.